Do you use Blueprint or C++? In the graphics, Blueprints, no, never. What's your job as a lead graphics engineer? I would say that basically my job... Can you describe the technical levels of C++ programming for your team? To be honest, you don't need that much of the knowledge about the C++ as about everything else. What do you think is the best way to start graphics programming to join your team. First of all, uh... Hi everyone, we have a special guest today, Michael Nastenko. He's working at PUBG Studio, lead graphics engineer at PUBG. Okay, hi Michael. Yeah, hello, thank you for having me here. <laughs> Let's start from your personal life. How could you end up working at game studio in South Korea? My first job was uh, on a local TV channel where I was working on the computer animations and then I went to work in games and I found a job in local uh, game company and I worked as a graphics team lead and I worked as the effects artist and the technical artist for several years. Uh, one of my co-workers that I worked before moved to Korea and they wanted to find the technical artist, capable technical artist to handle all the communication between the uh, engineering team and the art team. And he asked for my help. And this is how I landed in Korea. And six years ago, when uh, PUBG just uh, started early access in the Steam, they started PUBG Studio started to hire new people, and I was one of the first hires for the graphics engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of years ago, I became graphics engineering team lead. What's your job as a lead graphics engineer? I would say that basically my job is two things at the same time. The first one, even if I'm a team lead, I still do tasks. So which means that I work as a full-scale graphics engineer. And uh, as a team lead, I have responsibilities. As a team lead and as a senior uh, engineer, I have responsibilities of scheduling or managing the team uh, members, educating them, mm -hmm. controlling their results, reviewing the code and stuff. I am curious about the technical things you are working on. So um, do you use game engines or do you develop your own engines or do you customize the, the popular engines? Uh, PUBG uses the Unreal Engine 4, but at the same time, we did a lot of uh, customizations. So right now we hired people, we advise them basically to check the Unreal Engine. And if the person have experience with Unreal Engine, we ask the questions about the Unreal Engine a little bit. Our take-home test uh, is based on Unreal Engine, but I try to design it so it doesn't require that much knowledge of about Unreal. And everything that you need, you can figure out on your own if you have enough experience reading the code within a couple of hours. Um, Do you use Blueprint or C++? In the graphics, Blueprints, no, never. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in gameplay, well, this is another team. I think they do use, well, it's still unadvisable. But for the graphics, blueprints is a big no. Like the graphics is always uh, related with the heavy workload, with a lot of things to do. And blueprints, they just not fit this category. You, you cannot do anything on a big scale fast with the blueprints. Blueprints, they're not designed to be run multiple times per frame. So um, let's talk about C++ a little bit. If someone wants to join your team, then he or she should be very familiar with C++ programming. Is it correct? Yes. Yes, this is a must. Can you describe the technical levels of C++ programming for your team? To be honest, you don't need that much of the knowledge about the C++ as about everything else. Basically, like, if you would talk about the whole C++ language without the standard library, I would say like 50% knowledge will be more than enough. Yeah. Uh, and we don't use standard library. Oh. Standard library is useful but yeah the game industry is such that all game engines they don't use standard library for historical reasons so yeah it's nice to know but it's not a requirement but as i said more th other things have much more importance so the, the candidates they must have knowledge about the multi-trading mm -hmm. also of course uh, the candidate should know uh, uh, graphics APIs. Right now, a lot of uh, teaching courses, they focus on OpenGL, and it's actually not really a good thing because 
OpenGL is extremely old, and I would uh, say that the Vulkan uh, or DirectX 12 are much better uh, things to, to learn, uh, because if you understand those, everything else is much simpler. So you have to, you should know how the hardware works, both GPU and CPU. It's more important how your data is laid out in memory and how do you access it. What do you think is the best way to start graphics programming to join your team? First of all, uh, when you're working with the uh, engine as big as Unreal Engine, the first thing that you must be able to do is navigate the code base. So you must be able to read the code. You must be able to reason about it. You must be able to find the points of interest. You must know how to do something that you want to do. So I would advise get some goal, like I want to implement something and try to implement it. Yeah, relative, but preferably something simple, of course. Unreal Engine Editor have integration with a render dog. That's really nice. Uh, you can do the capture, the frame capture of the uh, rendering process, and then you can uh, investigate and see how it does different things because pretty much everything is wrapped with the uh, debug draw events. So you just taking the name and searching the, the code base, you can find where it happens in the code and you can see how exactly they actually implemented that. It's extremely helpful. There are there are two candidates, and then one candidate developed his own game engine for the portfolio, and then the other one developed maybe a little bit better game, but it's built on Unreal Engine, and then he's not that good at customizing the C++ part. So, um, what's your well, uh, <laughs> what's your preference? <laughs> yeah, in my in, in, the, in my case, of course, preference will be. The